So I don't know, Josh, if you could forward the link over to Austin. Um, I, I think I thought you guys had it, but, but maybe not. So this is, uh, we've got a couple different uh, map implementations I wanted to show. This is the first one and it's, it's more of a straightforward implementation, but um, it's us utilizing the CMDB and a lot of our facilities data. And so what we did is we're leveraging the Esri JavaScript API and we're calling it directly from within ServiceNow through UI page and uh, accessing the CMDB directly as well through this. And uh, the integration here has, has, been, uh, has been very well received on many fronts. But um, a couple of things I wanted to show you is, is that you can see, um, as, as you click around on the map, you can see images. But really, the ServiceNow side of this that's so powerful is that you have all of these workflows that we can access directly from, uh, from the map. So if we wanted to create uh, an outage or a facilities request directly from any item that we can click on the map, it pops up an iframe directly here, leverages the service portal. So all the great work that we've done within ServiceNow can all be leveraged right here through the map. So I could fill this out and submit it and it would get, um, and, and the nice thing about it is it gets, one of the biggest challenges that we had, and this is what kind of led us down this path, is that we had a a challenge picking the right CI. And I'm sure that other uh, people have expressed that to folks on the ServiceNow side is it's challenging. And so through the map, it actually pre-populates the CI here. And, uh, and so it allows that to be done. Um, we also are leveraging um, the CMDB to actually manage the um, layer list that's chosen here. And it's, it's uh, you know, so you can turn on and off different layers and we have a lot of different things within each layer. And so this is a really great way for um, our facilities team to even manage their items directly from, from the map. So this pulls up a dashboard of their stuff, of their CIs that they can manage right here, almost as if it's a spreadsheet, but uh, much more flexible and interactive uh, if I wanted to see the different things that involve water, it, it shows all of those right here. Uh, they can also, you know, as with any dashboard here, manage their, their requests. Uh, so they can really do a lot of real work directly from the map. Um, and so you can click through here and again, you get all of these uh, different, if you want to create a change on this, this thing broke. You just, uh, you, would, you would create a change and it automatically, like I said, pre-populates the CI and you go, so you're, that context awareness, uh, I know that, you know, on the ServiceNow side, you guys are trying to solve this with workspaces. At the end of the day, having 20, 30 windows tabs open with ServiceNow is, is not ideal. This also addresses it in a, in a different way. Um, so this is a more basic map. It doesn't have, it, it's kind of flat in the sense that it, it doesn't have um, many, it has relationships within the CMDB, but not, not in the same way maybe as our operational uh, map that I, I'm gonna show. Uh, but before I show that, is there, are there any other, other questions, first of all? Uh, I wanna kind of build to, to more and more complexity in terms of our, our maps here. Does this, um, the way that you lay the, the things that are on the map, they can be objects in service now, the layers, or they can be objects in Esri, either way? Yes, so these are actually objects all within the CMDB. Uh, this is, every one of these things is, uh, that I would click on is a CI in the CMDB. Uh, okay, this so we don't have to bring that, we don't have to bring that into Esri in order to be able to put it there. We just get it right out of service now. Right, because the, you know the, the CMDB is essentially sort of a database kind of through a, a, a JavaScript, you know, Java layer. And so it's, and that also makes it very fast and responsive is that uh, the, the Esri maps are within service now. So we're not calling it outside uh, and bringing data out. We're just accessing it right here within, within the platform in, inside of service now. Cool. Right, so really rendering it, right? Yeah. Yep. So then Todd, the only thing that's coming from what we would call ArcGIS Online, right? Like our SaaS platform is the base map. 
Right. It's the base maps and we can, we can change the, the base map here um, very easily. Zoom in. Uh, there's, yeah. And, and so this is, this is Esri's, as well as the various uh, JavaScript APIs that we're, that we're calling to, to do different things that, that will show uh, on this, on another map. But um, yeah, most of, so the JavaScript API from Esri is very rich and has many, many features. Uh, one of which is even to be able to edit these things. So if you click on it and you drag it and it would actually update in the CMDB, the location and which is also in service now. So all the data uh, about every CI, it's all in the CMDB. The location is leveraging the location table, but um, everything is in, uh, in, in fact, to see that you can even, you know, you can do view CI, I think on, on most of these, yeah, view CI. So this actually shows you the CI that this represents. So you can see it right here. I happen to pick one where we don't have an image. Almost all of them have images. So you can um, do that, uh, leverage this directly, uh, directly from the CMDB. It's just a layer right on top. So it's fast, responsive, easy to use, and you have all the, the workflows um, of, of, of service now. Um, any other questions before I kind of show the next map here? That was very cool. Yeah, so this one we're really excited about. Uh, like I was saying, the um, ability to choose the right CI can be a challenge. So this makes that easier. Here you can see our data centers uh, and, and they pop up here, um, but, but we can really allow people to leverage a ton of functionality. So I'm gonna turn on a bunch of layers here that we have that are all CMDB layers, mind you. And so you can see in network and firewall, we have all of these things that, are, that show up uh, that, and we can turn on and off. So this allows us to very easily um, if, at one of our sites, if something goes down, if we say that uh, this uh, thing in Minneapolis, uh, what's gonna be impacted this, this router, what would be impacted if this has you know, issues? We actually are leveraging the change script that is run and we say what affected business services um, would be impacted if this thing goes down. So this is super, super useful. Uh, same thing for internet circuit. If we wanted to do a, we were gonna make, we said, you know what, I'm on the uh, uh, network team and I wanna make a change to the, this load balancer. We're gonna take it down for maintenance. What is gonna be impacted? It, it goes through and runs and, and says, um, here's, here's the, here's what would be impacted from a business, uh, service perspective. Um, and we can do that for, for any of these things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I, that, I don't know if, uh, anything else we had in this section before we moved on. Um, but, uh, do want to also call out and, and I'm going to, going to say this, uh, candidly is, is, you know, Todd and, and team, they are, they're IT people who are aware of GIS. They're not GIS people, if that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that if I had a somebody from the dev team that, that was a pure GIS person and you know in the product and so on, um, but just an awareness, all this was accomplished from an IT person, sharp IT people who are you know aware of GIS and, and aware of their problems versus, you know, we, we you know, brought in a couple of, of uh, hot shots in the GIS space, if that makes sense. Yep. Yeah, and that's uh, that's that's a great distinction, Terry. I think we we uh, also manage the database team, so we look at things from the relationships. And so, as we got more into the CMDB and saw some of the challenges, we really saw that oh, well, this would be great if it was on a map. Hey, guess what? We work at a mapping company. Let's figure out how to make this work. Um, you know, I've been here a long time, and I still don't really know how our software fully works. So this has been kind of a journey for us to learn Esri software as well. So it's, it's been great, but, but having kind of the, the knowledge of the workflows in service now, and then learning Esri software as we go has, has been a, a fun journey. 